there, there was some sort of a, a gas leak, and there was a fire, and there was a, a lot of smoke, and a lot of people passed out. We, we couldn't find you. I didn't know what to do. Oh, honey. I called out, but nobody came, so I, I pulled the wires off me. The, the heart monitor, you mean? Yeah. Is anybody hurt? I think everybody's okay. Oh, you got socked into it, too? Yeah, but, well, we were more worried about you. Laura. Why were you on the heart monitor in the ER? I did something stupid, but it's, it's not a big deal. No, no, honey. You tell him. Tell him, because he, he needs to know. I took X, but it was cut with the speed, so... My heart was racing it. It's not that big of a deal. Laura, it, it is a big deal. She passed out. I brought her here because I thought something was wrong. David, what? What? Um, I'm just a little concerned about some physical signs that I'm seeing. Where is it? Laura, let me, let me take your pulse for a minute. Yes, her pulse is thready. Um, nurse, I need you to um, set up Miss English for a heart monitor right now. I'm sorry, Dr. Hayward. I need authorization. Fine. I'll do it myself. Come on. Let's move right, on here. Come on, help me out. All right. All right. All right. We got you, honey. You got you. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at you for a while, okay? See what's going on. Here, come on. And then I'm going to get somebody who's authorized All to right. form a full blood yes. chem screen here. What the hell are you doing, Hayward? It's not needed. yours. Not yours. Not now, not ever. You're not on staff in this hospital. What are you, out of your mind? I'm helping her. You go near this girl again, David. I'm going to break your other hand. I swear to God. Jake, what is wrong with you? All right, Brooke, listen. He was fired from this hospital. He's under house arrest for a whole string of felonies, and he has no authority to treat anyone in this hospital. If he can help Laura, I want him here. We have a whole staff of cardiologists that can help Laura. Don't think I don't know what you did, Hayward. What I did? When, Jake? I was helping out in a crisis. Would you prefer that I let those people die from smoke and gas inhalation? Yeah, which you caused. What? Now, you tried to create a whole diversion so that you could avoid transferring yourself to the state hospital penitentiary. But in the process, David, you nearly killed dozens of people out there. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Jake, why don't you keep your voice down? I'm sure you don't have the whole story about what out happened out there tonight. You know what, let me fill you in on the whole story, big brother. This man stole potassium from a locked med cabinet. He injected it in himself to decelerate his heart rate so he could avoid going to prison. I was just about to take him down to the lab right now to get a blood sample just to prove it. You're out of until your we mind. had all this case. You're gonna deny it, Laura? Are you experiencing any shortness of breath? All right, Hayward, come with me. No, no, no. You're not, you're not treating her. Hey, 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 no, hey, hey, let it go. Hey, let it go. hang now. on. For now. Excuse me. Leave him alone so he can examine her. Sorry, Please. Brooke, he is not on staff at this hospital anymore. This okay? patient Stand needs to be on a heart monitor ASAP, David, Jake. David, then I'm going to put her on the heart monitor, not you. Okay. You understand? You stay the hell away from her. I'm afraid that Jake is going to lose it. Do you believe what he said? No, I mean, this would be a pretty big stretch, even for Hayward. I think Jake is digging himself in a great big hole. No matter what he thinks of Hayward as a man, he's a damn good surgeon. He saved your life on numerous occasions. And if he thinks something's wrong with Laura, I think Jake should listen to him. No matter what he thinks, he's trying to pull to stay out of prison. that David did something, you know, to himself, to, to keep from being transferred. Yeah, I know, I heard. Did you see him? You saw him. He was carrying people out of here. See him? Dixie, I was helping him. I mean, how sick could he be? Why are you still here? I want you to talk to me.
Honey, I'll be right back. Okay? Something wrong? No, I'm sure everything's fine. I don't want to alarm you. It's too late. I made the most cursory evaluation based on a short reading of Laura's heart monitor. And you're concerned about what you've seen so far, right? Yes, I am, Brooke. I'm certain that there's something else going on here. I don't understand. I mean, something besides the drugs that she took? Yes. I don't understand. When was Laura's last physical? Um, actually, she was scheduled for a regular checkup next week. Uh... A year ago, in China, when she hurt when she hurt her back. Okay, and nothing came up that was questionable. Not with her heart, no. Look, Brooke, I don't know what it is yet, but I would lay odds that there's something more going on than just an accelerated heart rate from ecstasy, even with the speed. What are you saying? Well, it could be any number of things. Okay, I mean, it could be something that she picked up when she was in the Far East. I mean, some kind of viral infection that, that could be affecting her heart in some way, all right? Hayward, it, Hayward, Hayward, hang on here. You are not Laura's doctor. Oh, here we go again. Stop trying to frighten her mother. I am not trying to frighten her, Jake. I'm telling her what to expect with her daughter's case. All right, Brooke, he is using your daughter's case to try to deflect the attention away from his own. Lousy son of a... You, you know why he's doing that? Because he's trying to get out of his prison term. He played Superman in here today to make his own case look good. And now he's trying to be the clairvoyant doctor when he knows nothing about what's really going on with your daughter, Brooke. He couldn't, not with the little amount of information he has to go on. Jake, I don't give a damn about any of this. My daughter is in there. Her color is bad. Her heart rate is erratic. And this is a cardiologist who knows a thing or two about this, and he is telling me to be concerned. So please don't ask me to ignore that. Not now. I understand what you're saying, but we have a very skilled cardiology department in this hospital that is more than capable of taking care of, of dealing with Laura's case. Where are they? Are they in there with my daughter? Hayward! Where do you draw the line? I'm yeah, telling no, no, you, no. Jake. Let me rephrase that. Do you ever draw the I'm line? I'm telling you, Jake, this is not a ploy. And you're preaching to the wrong audience. I'm Listen telling you to me, that please. woman in Laura English is in cardiac distress. Now forget about what you think of me. Forget about everything that you've been accusing me of this last hour. And remember what you know of me as a doctor, Jake. Now there is something seriously wrong with that girl in there, and it has nothing to do with her drug use, okay? Now do you honestly want to throw me out of here without my consult, Jake? Do you? It's Laura. Brooke, she's been hit by a car. Oh, my God. Well, how is she? I mean, she's okay, isn't she? I'm very sorry. She's gone. here for a little while. I didn't want to scare her. Look, Laura's in good hands. You, she's got to try to calm down. David thinks that there's something wrong with her heart. Did he tell Jake? Jake doesn't want to know what David is thinking. I don't know what I would do if something happened to her. David looks worried, Bianca. Yeah, I know. If there's something wrong with Laura, we're gonna find out what it is, we're gonna treat it and get her well again. Without your help, David. You know damn well that I can spot things faster than any cardiologist on this staff, Jake. No, I don't know that. Come on! What I, what I do know is you don't want to take a blood test to find out what you did yourself to stay out of jail. That's too bad, David. Guard, why don't you help me escort Dr. Hayward here down to the lab? Thanks for cutting me loose, Doc. I've got to put all of this into a report. 
I have backup coming. I am not leaving, Laura, until you get someone from CCU down here to do an evaluation. Oh, well, gee, are you telling me what to do, David? Get her a dose of lidocaine, 10 milligram. Dr. Martin, I've just dispatched you. Do you want me to take Dr. Hayward? No, no, I need his wait outside. Jake, please tell me what's happening. All right, Laura is in respiratory failure. Oh, my God. Uh, what's your hand? Yeah. All right, let me take over. Vitals? Her BP is 50 pounds. Pulse 112. She's not responding. Okay, we're going to intubate her. Give me a size 7 ET2 stat. Is she going to be okay? No, the, the tube's going to help her breathe. Look, just relax. She's diaphoretic and she has some muscle tremors. Let's go with that ET2. All right, let's let's get respiratory in here and set up a, set up a ventilator right away. Why did she stop breathing? There are indications that she's in control. We're going to find out, look. What's her status? Uh, we need a chest X-ray, a CBC, a coag panel, and a Chem 7. Please, Laura, please hold on. Bianca! Mom! Are you all right? Uh, I... uh, what are you doing here? One of the nurses recognized you and she called me. She said that, that you passed out. Everybody passed out. There was some kind of gas leak or something. You look pale, honey. I'm not the one who's in trouble. It's Laura. Laura? She took some ecstasy. Again? Yeah. Mom, please. She, she collapsed. I brought her here. D did she overdose? I don't... I don't know. Mom, I'm so scared. She, we were just talking and she passed out. They hooked her up to this mach machine so that she could breathe. I, I, what if she dies? Please. I just need some answers. Did this happen because she took ecstasy, or is there something else wrong? All right, Brooke, we're going to find this out, OK? Laura has experienced some abnormal heart activity. The drug could have triggered the reaction, or there may be an organic problem. You are not authorized to make a diagnosis, Which Dr. doesn't Hayward. change the fact that Laura is going to require more than the standard tests. You're no longer on staff at this I hospital. Don't care who does it? Then you order the damn test, Jake. Step out right now. I am not leaving here until you order a full cardiac workup. Dr. Hayward is finished here. You can take him away. Oh, and watch him, because he's already handcuffed one guard and stole his gun. You better be prepared for this mistake, Jake. Just get out now, Hayward. Let's go, let's go. David seems so certain. How can you just dismiss him so easily? Uh, Brooke. David has an agenda. He is more concerned about himself than any patient in this hospital. I'm sorry that he scared you. But we're doing every possible thing we can for Laura, OK? Can I sit with her? Sure, sure. You think you can handle this? I'll monitor her vitals, adjust the lidocaine dosage to correct the arrhythmia. OK. Go check on your father. Thanks. this happen, Laura? I'm sorry that you felt that you couldn't talk to me.
but I'm here now, and I love you. And whatever happens, honey, we will fight it together. Excuse me. Yeah? I'm here to take a chest x-ray for Laura English. Yes. I'll need you to leave the room. It won't take long, I promise. Okay. David and Jake arguing about some tests. David thinks uh, that there's something wrong with Laura's heart. Well, you should listen to David. <sighs> He's on his way to jail. Brooke, if David tells you that Laura needs some special tests, I mean, you, you shouldn't even question it. You should just do it. <sighs> Jake thinks that David is just making the situation up so that he doesn't have to go to jail. Jake is a good doctor, but he's not a cardiologist. Well, maybe Jake's exaggerating. You know, I mean, saying... And David's exaggerating about Laura's condition. Well, do you want to take that chance? You know, David Hayward has a reputation for manipulating people. David Hayward saved my life. Mine, and Dixie's, and Dimitri's. And whatever problems he has. He has a gift. He can see things that, that other people can't. Let him save Laura. Did you mean what you said? That there's something else wrong with Laura? Is that true? Well, I can't know for sure. I would need to... If you don't know who does, you have to know. You have to help my daughter. What can you tell me about Laura's medical history? Not that much. Um, her biological mother died. And uh, her father ran away when she was very young. So you don't know if her mother had German measles? Sometimes an underlying condition can go undetected for years. And there's also the possibility that she has a genetic predisposition to the condition. So any history of family illness could be really helpful right now. I just... I know so little about her, her childhood. I... All right. How about recently? Have you noticed any change in her appetite lately? No, not there's nothing that I've noticed. Does she get out of breath easily? No. Has she complained that her clothes or her shoes are too tight? It's nothing that I've noticed about her. Look, I don't want to alarm you. But I can't make a definitive diagnosis without more sophisticated tests. You mean those tests that you were talking to Jake about? Yeah. So then, I mean, why don't you order them? Why don't... If she needs them, why don't you order them? Look, I'm on my way to jail. <sighs> the hell you are. You're coming with me. Oh, oh, lady. Dr. Hayward's a prisoner. So guard him. Just let him come and help my daughter, okay? Okay. But I'm right behind you. Birdie assaulted one officer. Don't try anything with me. Have you ordered a 12-lead EKG yet? No, the Laudocaine seems to be correcting the arrhythmia. That doesn't mean that the problem is solved. I need a full resting EKG stat and an echocardiogram. I'll have to check with Jake first. Look, I don't care what the hospital protocol is. My daughter needs these tests. And she needs them now, and she's going to get them now. And it doesn't matter whether you cooperate or not. Mr. 
Brooke, why don't you get some water or fresh air or something? I don't want to leave her. She's going to be fine. Don't wear yourself out. You did the right thing going ahead with the tests. You were right. I should have known that Laura was using drugs. I should have seen the signs. Well, I was angry. I mean, yesterday I was worried about her using drugs, and today, you know, there's something going on I have no control over in her life. And... Brooke, you know, I tell my kids every day that they should be careful and that I love them. And I say a prayer every night. And it never seems to be enough. It's not enough to protect them. No. And I feel like there's nothing I can do. You can give her your strength. You can. I know what I'm talking about, Brooke. Believe me. I lived your fear when I watched Bianca fight for her life. And hope seems completely out of reach. And God seems even farther away. But you can wrap her in your love, Brooke, and give her your strength. And I want you to know, I'm praying for you. Come to give me a rousing send -off? No, David, I just want to clear something up. Really? I was wrong to accuse you of causing the fire, and I apologize for that. And what changed your mind? It was Leslie. She opened up the gas canisters and left the hospital. Well, that doesn't make sense. She had a guard. Well, somehow she got away. Now we don't know where she is, which is why I'm going to take you back to the house. Well... Uh, no, no, I'm not in any danger. How far can she get in a hospital gown? Well, at this point, I'm not taking any chances, because she's probably already dreaming of some new scheme to get back at you. That's why I want to take you home. Dad, I can take care of myself. I don't care. Forget being brave. Well, I guess it would be nice to have somebody, you know, around. Um, I guess you should know. Come on, let's, let's go home. Did you find anything out? Did you find out what's wrong with her? The pattern on the EKG indicates an anatomical abnormality. What does that mean? Well, we can't give a diagnosis until we have all the results. Is that it? I mean, is that, is that everything that you could tell me? Well, I'm going to order a complete cardiac workup. Miss English, your daughter's regaining consciousness. Oh, thank God. It's all right. Don't worry about this uh, equipment. It's scary looking, but it's um, it's just here to help you breathe. Oh. Wait, 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 Laura. Wait. Okay. You want to tell me something? I have a 
one second. Sorry, Mom. You know what? I don't care about anything other than the fact that you're awake. Jake and, and David, uh, they've been in here. They're not sure what's wrong, but they're doing everything that they can to help you. And I will, too. Well, I would have Dr. Bryant take over the worst case. Good. Let's go, Hayward. Your ride's here. Just the assault of an officer to your long list of charges. Aren't you going to wish me bon voyage? Actually, David, I was going to say that you were right about ordering Laura's test. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 